Mark II Knight Rider lights are complete. They have the end caps on, ready to go. Um, barrel jack over here, ready for 12. I have a wall based power supply uh, powering it right now, but I also have it uh, DC available. And we have a USB port over on this side. Um, it's all sealed, um, fairly moisture resistant, I guess. Um, you can kind of see the LEDs poking in there. Um, you can see, if you flip it over, yeah. um, microcontroller is here, or this radio is here. This is a better shot than I had in my last video. You can actually kind of see the wiring inside. Um, inside there, it is pretty tight, but everything works. Um, so I'll go ahead and send it the command to turn on. Let's see. This is all on. These are in fact white. The camera shows them maybe a little bit bluish. Um, but to the human eye, they're white. And let's actually get animating. It would help if I actually sent the command. There we go. Kept sending it the wrong command. Um, Knight Rider 2008. And a combo. And we also have the. Oops, that's the wrong one. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, it's, this is the newest. Well, the original. Um, it all works pretty well. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Yep, that's all the animations right there. Like he said, my personal favorite is the combo. It's probably the one that's going to sit in most of the time at default. And that's pretty much it. The only thing left, I guess, as far as the whole project goes, is new enclosure and buttons and stuff for this. The buttons still in progress. Um, that's the way the cookie crumbles.